All right, so in this tutorial, we're going to be making trousers. Um, very, very simple. Just select your character, set the cloth type to trousers, and click on new cloth. And then set the points, the pelvis, the hip, the knee, the ankle, and click on generate trouser rig. Now position the waist wherever, however high you want the trousers to be, let's say around here. And you can scale it. Try to scale it so it's as close as possible to the character. That's how it works best. And for the thighs, you can add, um, set the place of the thigh circle here and the knee circle like this. So you can either create um, jogger style trousers, like joggers. If you're creating joggers, make the angle circle small and enable cuff ankles. Then click on generate trouser and you'll see it creates trousers like this. That kind of cuffed over here. When you press play, you'll see it's his leg slides out. To fix that, select the trousers and click on bind. So that binds it to the character, like that. But I'm going to create no more trousers this time. So I'm just going to press undo and scale up the ankle circle and I'll disable cuff ankles. So click on generate trouser and now we have no more trousers. You can see the waist is still sliding off for the animation. Simply click on it and click on bind if you want to um, to bind it to the character like this. Great, so we have uh, modifiers over here, like the subdivision modifier that can smoothen it out. And that's basically it. You can adjust certain parts of the trousers using painting. Um, for instance, if you want this crotch area a bit tighter, you can paint inflation. You can set the weight to one and reduce the strength with shift F. Let me enable screen cost keys so you can see what I'm pressing. I'm just going to lightly paint around here and that will tighten this area or it will shrink that area. So when you press play, you see it kind of pulls it inwards. Um, under that inflation deflation, you can reset it by pressing this button here that resets all the weights. So I can reduce it and paint here a little bit lighter than last time. And I think that's better. We can also add a kind of gator to this area. So I'm just going to select this vertices, move it forward a little bit, then press shift E and drag, and then click on bind to update it. Then when you press play, it has, it tries to maintain that um, gator at that point. You can increase the subdivision here to two, and that will sharpen it a little bit more. Like that. We can try removing it from this bottom part so that the bottom is not so sharp. Shift E, 1, minus, enter. And then press bind to update it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now we can also add a belt to this. Um, if you get the belt pack, there are a pack of belts that come in this pack. So you can see the belt pack here men's belts and you can choose any belt you want here i'm going to increase the scale so you can see them better and you can drag this one over here scale it and just scale it onto the character like this or onto the waist like this and when it's fitted enough press um divine accessory here and that will slap it onto the trousers so you can now slide it up and we can even edit the trousers and give more space here for the belt Click on bind to update the trousers and then just slide the belt upwards. I think this is okay. So once you position it nicely, you can now click on bind with the belt selected. And when you press play, the belt is now on the trousers. But that's basically it. I'm not going to make this video too long. That's how you make trousers using Divine Cut.